gamers, what's going on? Russ Lyman here, and welcome back to another episode of Russ's Retro Reads. We'll be taking a look at a Ninja Gaiden hand-drawn complete guide by Philip Summers. This thing's awesome, and you're gonna want to stick around to check it out. Books, guides, magazines, and everything in between. It's about video games, and that's what I read. Yeah, that's what I read. Russ's Retro Reads. Now, the original Ninja Gaiden game was definitely a doozy and hard one to get through. Phil takes the time to hand draw a lot of the scenes in here and tells you where power-ups are, pitfalls, and some strategies. I definitely love me some Ninja Gaiden. I even picked up one of these World of Power books and it does a little backstory on Ninja Gaiden. These things are fun. But we're not talking about this book today, so let's dive in and take a look at this Ninja Gaiden hand-drawn guide. So here's the Ninja Gaiden hand-drawn complete guide. Comes nice and packaged like this. And it comes with a action card here of Ryu Hayabusa. He personalizes every book and it says, Russ, thank you for supporting this project. Hope you enjoyed the guide, Phil. <laughs> and a nice little sketch of Ryu right there. So yeah, 47 pages and it's all hand drawn. I like that as a little <laughs> link one, so it's a preview guide. Link's coming, summer 2019. And we're gonna go through and we'll read some of these pages here. How to be a ninja master. Ryu's movement, pause game, skip cutscenes, sword slash, and jump. Then it shows some advanced moves right here of the wall jump. Cling to a wall. Press A toward the direction you want to. Move toward. Alternate back and forth. This move is essential. <laughs> Here's a look at some of the upgrades that you can get and additional items in the game. This is so awesome. I just love how this turned out here with all the weapon power-ups. Really bright colors, great. Profiles, Ryu Hayabusa. My drive was revenge for my father's death, but I'm quickly thrown into something for greater. With the dragon sword, I'll make short work of my enemies. This is my story. Irene Liu, a CIA agent who has mysterious motives. She has won me over. Walter Smith, archaeologist and friend of my father. I was sent to America to find him. Ken Hayabusa, my father who went missing. I don't know why he took part in a duel to the death, but I'm determined to find out. No one ever saying his name right. A monster? A demon? All I know is that he's a filthy wreck that must be stopped. Foster. I hate Foster. The kind of coward that has his goons do all the work for him. However, the man has resources and information. I need to take advantage of that. Journal entry one. As I take my flight to America, I've decided to have a moment to reflect. Getting the dragon sword onto this plane was tricky, but I'm not exactly riding first class. Sneaking into the cargo bay isn't the most comfortable way to fly, but at least I have leg room. And here's a full map of level one. And it shows you um, how many points you'll get for your sub weapon here, and which sub weapon is what. You'll get the throwing star here, fire wheel at this part of the level. This is really cool. And a couple of the bosses here, and your main boss is the barbarian. Look how sweet that is. Oh, uh, the guys with the bazookas. First pits to deal with, fall and die. <laughs> yeah, with the knockback right here, you can fall right into. Journal entry six. With the fall of Bloody Moth, I have had my revenge. He claims he didn't kill my father and that he still lives. I don't know what to believe, but I do know that Moth will never harm another soul. <laughs> Some more of the map, Death Valley, Act Two, Scene Two. And the boss in this one is Bomberhead. Journal entry three. 
Crystal Lake. I didn't realize this was named Crystal Lake. Connection to Jason? I don't know. <laughs> oh, this part right here where you jump, you think at the end, and this hawk comes and nails you and you fall in the pit. This pain point is nuts. Take out the cheetah, perfectly timing your jump attack for the bird, and then the guy on the ground. Be brave. <laughs> it's, it's killed many people growing up, this area right here. Then you're finally onto the boss. Basaqueer. If I stand right about here, I can defeat this boss easy. So it gives you a little tip right there on him. Epic piece right here. This is a great piece right here. Right, you standing off in the distance in the tower. The Hall of Judgment, Act 6, Scene 3. So this is it. This is coming down to the boss rush here where you have to fight um, Ken Hayabusa or the Mass Devil. That's my dad! <laughs> and then you have to go against Jack Wu. Jack Wee. <laughs> The ultimate punishment. If I lose on any of the final bosses, I'm sent all the way back to scene one. The struggle is real. The good news is that I get full health refilled when I beat one of the bosses. So it gives you some, some leeway. So you beat Ninja Gaiden. You've done it. You defeated Jacko. Saved the world and became a ninja master. Now what? Well, there are many more ninja games. Or you can completely master this one. Are you up for the challenge? And then he shows a couple different challenges here. Run like the wind. Speedrunners around the world compete to complete Ninja Gaiden as fast as possible. As of this writing, the world record is 11 minutes, 38 seconds, 067. Held by Arcus87. Insane! Go for the points! Maybe you prefer something more methodical. Take advantage of the enemy spawn points. Purposely lose on the boss rush mode and actually grab the point pots. As of this writing, the top score is 2,610,800 points. Held by Juan M. Castellanos. Score from Twin Galaxies. Enjoy the music! You can access the sound test by holding down, left, A, B, select, then press start. Anytime during the intro. Amazing music brought to you by Kaiji Yamagisha. And that's it! Thank you for reading my guide for Ninja Gaiden. As you can see from the pages, I love this game. After making this guide, I feel like I have an even deeper appreciation for this game. I didn't think that was possible. Assuming people want more, my next guide will be The Legend of Zelda. For progress on that project, follow me at Hey Phil Summers on Twitter. I will begin work on it in 2019. Thank you for the support, and thank you Tecmo for this great game. Phil. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that look. If you guys want to pick up a copy yourself, I'll leave a link in the description down below. It costs $20 shipped to your house, or you could actually get a PDF version digitally. He has this guide and Contra, and as you've seen, Legend of Zelda is on the way for the summer. So definitely put it in your favorites bar on something to purchase. Well guys, it's been great. If you want to check out any other episodes of Russ's Retro Reads, be sure to check out the playlist and do so. As always gamers, I'm Russ Lyman, and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video. And I want to give a super shout out to all my Patreon supporters, Joey Ellis, George Sandoval, Joseph Riviera, Nintendo, Joe Shibi, David Apuzo, Maynard, Dr. Pets, Brian Kuehlpepper, TechWiz X, Matthew Hannigan, and everyone on my Patreon page. Link below if you want to join. And I'll see you guys later.